Hi there, this is Mark Berkey with Berkey Academy, and today I was teaching a class on the Phillips curve. And the Phillips curve uh, is, is the idea that ceteris paribus, there is some sort of negative relationship between inflation and unemployment. And um, so, so what that means is that if, if you have high unemployment, then if you pump a lot of money into the economy, say we had 10% unemployment, uh, and we had low inflation. Uh, if we pump a lot of money into the economy, then that money will get into people's hands, people will buy things, and then therefore you will lower unemployment, but uh, at the same time tend to push prices up as uh, people have more money and more money chasing existing goods is going to tend to push prices up. And I made a graph uh, of this using data from 1948 to the present and it was very hard to see what was going on and so um, right now I am attempting to uh, make an animated graph in R to display this data so let me show you the data I have uh, what I have is monthly data here in Excel uh, on unemployment so this is a proportion here this is 3.4 uh, percent unemployment in January 1948 and 10% inflation. So I've plotted this first point here and I've labeled it with 1948. I've written a program in R that is going to lay, uh, put down these monthly points one by one so hopefully we can see uh, the evolution of how inflation and unemployment changes month by month and hopefully um, and what I also wrote the code to do is, is every January it's going to label the year. So it'll go, you know, 11 months without labeling the year, and then every January we're going to see the year again. Also, hopefully what this program will do is every decade it will change the color of the points. And so let's run this program just to see what happens and see what we can learn. So hopefully what we're going to see here evolve is... Uh, when you have high unemployment and low inflation, uh, sometimes what we'll see is the government will pump money into the economy, which will lower unemployment and push inflation up. And then, as people get used to the inflation, normally what we see is a shift in the Phillips curve, where uh, we'll keep the high inflation, but then unemployment will increase. And then that will mean a new relationship between unemployment and inflation. Well, without further ado, let's let's just run this program and let's let's see what happens here. And I will post, of course, I will post this this program and this data on my website at www.berkeyacademy.com. And so let me get this thing going here, along with ins instructions about how to get it to work. So, okay, let me get this going here sorry it's it's hard to film and have all these things happening at once so let's see if this thing will get going here okay so there's 48 there's 49 and 50 and we see this negative relationship here 51 52 and here we see um, 53 lower unemployment and inflation but we're, we're still seeing the same kind of relationship through the 50s but now 58 and 59, we kind of see a new branch over here. Higher unemployment with still relatively low inflation, about 4%. Now we're in the 60s. And they're green. And we're still in the same sort of, uh, same sort of curve. Now watch the 70s. We shoot over here to the right, where we have kind of a higher pattern in the 70s. And then the, in the mid-70s, unemployment shoots up with inflation. We call that stagflation. And now you see another kind of curve here, another kind of Phillips curve. And then in the 80s, we see another kind of curve in the early 80s. And then we see here where um, Reagan broke the back of inflation. And he decided to keep unemployment high without increasing the money supply. And that decreased unemployment eventually uh, without raising inflation. And then we see here in the 90s, we see we're, we're back to a lower kind of relationship here. 
basically, uh, in the in the 90s and the 2000s, we've had a focus on keeping inflation low, um, regardless of what the unemployment is. Um, basically, what the Federal Reserve's main priority has been is to keep inflation low. So we've seen inflation below 5% the whole time. And here we are in the 2000s, these gray points, uh, where we have seen continued low inflation but high unemployment as we've had uh, the recession uh, that's officially been over for a long time but still we're feeling the effects of the inf the uh, recession that started in 2008 so hopefully seeing these grant these points move through time has has given you a way to to visualize how this has has evolved if you have any suggestions about how I can make this uh, this graph a little bit better, uh, leave some comments in the comment section below and let me know. But uh, I'm going to put the data and my code for R about uh, how I made this little dynamic graph through time. I'll post them again on www.berkeyacademy.com and hopefully this code and this data uh, will... Uh, help you in some way do your own project. So again, this is Berkey Academy signing out. Please leave comments and questions in the comment section below. Thanks.